Now before I begin, I'm going to go through this whole thing I went through, bit by bit, of the important parts, while explaining what I experienced during this event, and how I got into this situation in the first place. I'm only doing this to spread awareness of how people being nervous during surgeries, while normal, is nothing to be ashamed of, whether it was bigger or smaller than my story here. So this is a kind of a PSA in a way. If this video is too long, then sorry, I'm anal when it comes to explaining things, I guess. Anyway, let's begin. When it comes to our bodies, we are supposed to take care of them, be it physical, emotional, or mental. We must take care of our bodies. So let me tell you about my gum surgery due to my stupid incompetence on not taking care of my own teeth. Let's go back to 2015 where I just got my braces off. They just got the brackets and wires off my teeth and was cleaning the excess glue off from the brackets. As they did this, the orthodontist asked if I brushed and flossed good since the last time I saw him, which was about a few months prior to this last visit, and I told him, I try, but the braces covered about 90% of my teeth across my mouth, getting in the way. He points at my bottom two teeth's gum lining and says my roots are showing, which isn't good. He said that may be due to the fact that my angling on my brushing wasn't good enough, and that means I need to possibly look into graft surgery soon. A grafting surgery refers to a surgical procedure to move tissue from one site to another on the body, or from another creature without bringing its own blood supply with it. Instead, a new blood supply grows in after it's placed. A similar technique, where tissue is transferred with the blood supply intact, is called a flap. In my position, it was my gums. My gums were receding due to the plaque and bacteria eating at them since my brushing wasn't so good. Of course, I was nervous and confused, but the orthodontist said he knows a doctor who's helped on this situation before and that he was legit. So we got in contact with the doctor, whose name I cannot remember, so we will name him Dr. Gumball for funny haha -ha comedy purposes. So we had a face-to-face -face meeting with him, and he was nice and patient with the little 14-year-old anxiety-filled and sad-scared me. Hello, what's your name? L leah <laughs> Alright, very nice to meet you, Leah. Do you have any questions for us ahead of time? Not yet. He explains how the procedure will happen. He's going to put me under and take a layer of skin from the roof of my mouth and my cheek, laser graft it on my lower two teeth roots area, and have some stitches on some areas he will stitch for good. But clarify that it was those kinds of stitches that dissolve over time after my gums heal, which was cool. Mainly because that means I wouldn't have to go back to get them removed. Okay, I'll see you guys in November for the big day. Any questions before you leave? After giving some thought, I asked the normal questions. Will I feel anything during this? Are you going to give me the goofy gas to help me fall asleep? What is equal some C square? And he says... Well, here's the thing. You do need to be awake during the surgery, and we will be giving you the gas, but we also need you to take a sedative pill beforehand so you're not as anxious. So technically you'll be sleepy but awake enough to respond to us. Do you understand? Oh, uh, okay. Do you have any other questions? N no sir. Alright, see you in a while. And we left. And that was one problem I couldn't do. I can't swallow pills. And I know a lot of people my age, older or younger, can swallow pills, but I can't. And I never knew why. I take liquid form or I don't take any medicine at all. But my mom said it won't make any difference whether I swallow or chew it or whatever. And so I was calmer on that situation. And then when November came, that means the procedure came. We got there and waited. I told mom I was still feeling scared and she gave me the pill. I chewed it, gulped some water down, and prayed that it kicks in before the doctor calls- Leah, the doctor will see you now. Well, frick. I literally just got the pill in my system and I'm called in the second I swallow. Frick. We go in and I see everything they're gonna use to probe and poke and slice my mouth open with. Then I see the nurse and Dr. Gumball is preparing for everything. <sighs> Hello, Leah. You ready for the operation? I I'm still nervous. Oh, did you take the pill? Yes, sir. Well, sit down and relax. The nurse will give you the gas in a minute. Okay. Now, the gas I'm referring to is that gas all operations use on patients. Think those people that you see who had their wisdom teeth pulled out or something. You inhale it, and your brain and your body start feeling happy and calm, but still conscious and awake. I have to tell you, the device the nurse puts on me with the gas was kind of funny. And it was like putting on a big fake clown nose with tiny tubes going up your nostrils. I mean, look at this. It looked so funny I had to snap a picture of it. Also, get used to me showing pictures of this story because I wanted to show memories of this. 
lovely event. <laughs> so she puts the big schnozola on my face, and I believe she asked me what scent I wanted. And she said we have bubblegum, mint, or lavender. And uh, of course I wanted gum, because if you smell bubblegum, it smells relaxing as is. It's like child-friendly potpourri! <clears throat> she turns on the gas, and I breathe deeply and calmly. During this, the doctor is explaining my mom how long the operation may be, give or take the situation during the time. While I was breathing in the gas and relaxing, the nurse rubs the numbing goo on my gums, inner cheeks, and lips. And that's when... the gas sets in. <laughs> So you don't pull your lip out after you. Yeah, don't do that after. <laughs> now you're putting it back. <laughs> so, as you can see, I am pulling my lip and smiling. I am high as a kite by this point. In the video, my mom in the background is asking what I'm doing, and I believe my answer was, I can't feel my lip, or my lip's gone. My mom says it's still there. And then I proceed to push my lips back to my head as if I'm mushing a new Play-Doh piece into another chunk. I can't believe I got this on film because most gas-high patients don't have the capacity to think, let alone grab their phone, turn it on, get the camera ready, and videotape yourself being high on gas. It was so crazy. The doctor asks if I'm relaxed and ready. At this point, I don't remember the poking and prodding they did, but I remember some points where they laser off the roof of my mouth and my cheek. I felt the stinging and burning, which of course meant they were, in fact, using a real laser. I mean, duh. I remember listening to music or something on my phone to distract myself from the noises. I seriously was out like a light mentally. At one point, they were grafting the skin onto my gums along with the stitches. I mentally woke up and asked if I can snap a real quick picture of myself to show myself later. He said, sure. And I did. Now, if you're squeamish, I'm sorry, but this is what you get when you go through a surgery. Stitches and red stuff. During this time, I was kind of going in and out of being conscious mentally from the gas. So I remember after taking the picture, he said we were going to take a break to relax my jaw as well as get everything else set for the next part of the operation. I don't know how long the graft of the roof of my mouth and cheek to stitch my gums were, but I knew it was long enough for my jaw to start cramping and hurting. I had gauze and cotton in my mouth so blood and spit and medicine and all that would soak up instead of me swallowing. I was basically a swelled up face. I was looking around the room and I turned to my left to see the doctor and nurse talking and cleaning themselves up for the next part of the procedure. I'm sorry I got blood on you doctor. Oh, it's alright. It's all part of the process. <laughs> so next was fixing up the last part of my gums and fixing the roof of my mouth and cheek. This part, I remember it's starting, but I can't remember the rest. And this moment will always stay in my mom's memory forever, because I don't remember this at all. So, after everything was done, and everything was cleaned up, the doctor asks me how I'm feeling, and I say this. I feel like a new woman. Yes, I said this. Mom told me I said that and that everyone was laughing after that. I was embarrassed. And after that <clears throat> little comment I gave, the doctor stated that I couldn't eat anything hard because they put a healing putty over my stitches so they wouldn't get caught in any food or on my lip during healing. And I may have to chew on the opposite side of my mouth away from the worked on side. And my healing will go slow but over time my eating will get better and the pain will go away. And that was bad. Why? Because a few days after my surgery... Was Thanksgiving! I had a family dinner with my mom, dad, grandpa, aunts, uncles, cousins, and I couldn't eat a whole lot due to my healing hurting my mouth! I was suffering! I mean, I didn't get to eat enough turkey! Well, one good thing was that I didn't get to eat a whole lot of it, but at the same time I got to eat more mashed potatoes, stuffing, and cranberry sauce, since those are my more favorite foods of Thanksgiving. But still, and even if I did want to eat all the other food, I didn't eat much because of the pain I was getting from the healing process. I remember being so sore and cranky from my pain, and I think I didn't even talk much to my whole family or my cousins that night. That's how bad the pain was. <sighs> but, in all due respect, 
I did end up having a terrific result of my gums. I never did get to thank the doctor for the operation or showed him to turn it out, but if I did, I bet you he'd be proud. So that's my gum surgery. It was scary, it was odd, and it was painful, but what surgery isn't, am I right? And if you have a similar story, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, sorry this was a lengthy video, but I wanted to share my story on the journey, and I'm proud of how it turned out. I'd love to give a shout out to my friend Misanthro for voicing the doctor in this video. I was gonna voice him myself, but I talked a lot as is in this thing. Go check him out, his channel will be linked below. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.